nothing much to do when you're out here alone But listen to the radio till daylight breaks Hoping they play something that'll keep you awake Behold, my trucker station came to an end But behold, a new savior stepped right in Thank God for the satellite and radio For good trucking music, there's a place to go Bill Mack and Cindy and Dave Nemo Thank God for... Good morning, good morning, guys and gals Here we are, back on the road We're gonna go empty to dry in Ontario We'll do a trailer switch up there we're just planning on doing a short trip right now and then uh, we are going to go to Rhinelander, Wisconsin and deliver over there probably tomorrow and then we'll see what we can get home from there because we want to be back preferably no later than lunchtime on the 31st that's when we go to the cottage. Yeah. Anyways, we're back on the road, that's for sure. Alrighty, guys, we are just about to come into Ontario. Yeah, looks like the scale is closed today. At least from what I could see, it didn't look like the lights were flashing yet. But it's a gorgeous day out here today. It almost looked like somebody had been ice fishing on the lake there already. Almost looked like it, but... Yep, the scale is definitely not open our way. Speed limit reduced ahead. But we do have very nice dry roads. It's actually not windy at all either. Very good day to be out here driving today. That's for sure. Well, it looks like the DOT is in there though. They got one car in there. Yeah. Looks like them graders are stuck in there. <laughs> yeah. Oh well. I guess they'll dig themselves out. But here we are, as soon as this uh, highway comes together, that's where Ontario border is. Now we'll be in Ontario. And I haven't told you guys yet, the wife is riding along with us today. Yeah. I'm gonna go on a little cruise. Our son is staying with my dad today. Well, I guess till we come back. Crossing border, here we entering go. Ontario. We are officially in Ontario. That's right. We got two hours to go and we'll be in Dryden. Alrighty guys, here we are coming into Dryden. Look at the gorgeous view you get from up here. This is just as we roll into Dryden. You can see that big paper mill up there with all them steam coming off of those exhaust pipes. Yeah. We're going to go into a uh, dry in here, we're going to make a little bit of a pit stop up here at the Husky truck stop. That's pretty much the only, well there is a petrol pass there but it's not right on the highway so. We're not going to stop there but we're going to stop at the Husky. Go in there and use the restroom. And Maybe grab a sandwich or something like that. And then we'll go over and pick up our preloaded trailer and start heading towards Wisconsin. We gotta be there tomorrow by 11 a.m. So we're gonna have to give her. We can get there on time. Here it is. We are back on 502 Highway. Narrow, stretchy, zigzagging type of road. Not much for a road, but hey, we gotta go down here. Go towards the border. Yeah. We got about an hour and a half probably to the border yet. And then we'll be in Minnesota. Yeah. Don't know exactly up to where we're gonna drive yet tonight, but uh, Gonna try and probably drive up to Duluth 
area, Superior, Wisconsin. Probably that will be our bet, probably. Safest bet to park over there. And that way we don't have to worry about parking too much, I think. But we'll see, maybe I'll think of something else, but Looks like this road is a little bit icy. Just taking a real easy going around corners. That's right. Keeping her slow and steady. Gorgeous scenery's up here. At least that's what the wife says. Yep. Lots of sceneries, that's for sure. Not really much on this road, but uh, bush and wildlife, that's all. Hills and rocks, and that's it. <laughs> they do some forests, uh, forest trees up here, they cut some trees down up here, but other than that, not much going on on this road. Yeah. I already told dispatch we want to go home from uh, Rhinelander. So hopefully they'll be looking for a reload for us. So that we can start making our way back home. Now we can go to the cottage. Our trailer switched there and dried it and the wife cooked some uh, chicken breasts and we had some chicken sandwiches. She's done cleaning it all up now. Yeah. Alrighty guys, we have just crossed the border. So now it's... We are in the United States. That's right. We are in the United States of America. Turn right and then turn left in 350 feet. We had to go through the skinner today. But that's alright. Sometimes you gotta do that. Yeah. Now we gotta make a turn up here and make another left hand turn here right away. <laughs> and then we'll be on uh, US turn left 53. On Third Avenue, US 53. And then we'll uh, give her. See how far we can make her tonight. Anyways, we are in the United States of America now. This four wheeler is looking at something else. At the home, at him. Get going. It's green. Green means go. That's right. Oh, you couldn't decide one second earlier you was going to turn on your single light, eh? <laughs> no. Continue on this road for 70 miles. You don't turn on your single light. I don't know if you want to turn or not. I can't read your mind. That's right. Well, it's been a good drive up here. Made some good mile, good time. And now we got... 348 miles to go up to our delivery place, so I don't think we can make it there all the way tonight, but uh, we'll try and see how far we can get tonight. Just do our best, that's all we can do. Well, well guys, we are done for today. That's right. We are in Ashland, Wisconsin. And we got about 115 miles to go. So we did get some good miles in today. Not maxed out completely, but we got okay miles. We're happy with the way we done it. We are ready for bed now. We are tired, right? That's what I thought. Yeah, the wife is preparing the bed, so we're going to go to bed here very shortly. <coughs> we had a little bit of a dinner up here. <coughs> There's actually like uh, 
a few stores just uh, across the street here or whatever just on the other side of the truck and on this side of the truck we got a little bit of a restaurant up here so we went inside and had a bite to eat and now we're gonna go to bed so we'll see you guys again tomorrow so have a good one we'll catch you on the next one behind me that day is gonna come